What's up tech lovers, welcome to this new tutorial video presented by IQ Codec. So in today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking a well about how to use Signal, which is the replacement to WhatsApp for the year 2021. So as you all know, WhatsApp made some dangerous changes to their terms and conditions, which is not good for our privacy. So today, we're going to be looking at one of the most private apps that exists on Play Store and is 100% like whatsapp and it's even more than whatsapp so that's what i'm going to make in the video of today so please if it's your first time listening click on the subscribe button and hit on the description bell to stay tuned for our latest update so as i said in the beginning of the video whatsapp actually did some update in their terms and condition and it's kind of dangerous because it actually goes beyond our privacy so Today, we're going to be looking at one of the most secured apps that's going to be replacing WhatsApp in terms of security and it's exactly like WhatsApp and it's even far away better than WhatsApp. So, Signal is on Play Store and it's actually an app from the Signal Foundation and it's very, very free and it is very, very secured by the name. You can actually see what it does. So, we're going to be looking aware about how to use Signal, how to configure it for the best security measures. So, let us get started. So, we're going to get into user interface of Signal. As you can see, my senior account has already been created. So to create an account of senior, it's quite easy. So the first thing to do when you create an account of senior, you input your number. After you have inputted the number, the second thing I'm going to present it is verification, which is going to auto verify. And after the verification, I'm going to present it your PIN, which you need to set a PIN. So you can see the way it is very secured compared to WhatsApp. WhatsApp actually, you just need to input the number, and once the number has been verified, you can actually see a chat. But with Signal, when you create an account, after verification of your number, you actually have access to already set a PIN for your Signal. So that is it. Now, here you can see the interface of Signal, which is pretty easy. So you can see down here, you have the new group to create your group, you have the invite friends. So you feel free to create a group. You give the name of the group, select the group member. So I'm going to select this, give the name of the group. So I'm going to give, so I'm just going to say IQ Codec. Once the group is done, we create. The group so that is it so you can see signal is way better than whatsapp so i'm going to change your mindset about whatsapp in this video as i said if so you can see invitation can be automatically added to the group by you so they have invited to join and won't see the group message until they accept so you can see yes a difference with whatsapp whatsapp once you create a group on whatsapp you just select the contact and you get automatically added to the group so but with signal when you create a group you select a participant if the participant haven't accepted to join he or she won't be able to join the group so you can see how secured signal is so that is that about the group also you can see you are the only one on the group so share links with approved members so you can enable to share link so that is it so you can see if the user doesn't accept so you can add the user automatically compared to whatever so this is what i call security so now the next thing that we're going to be looking is so you can see you can actually activate those have disappearing mission you can set to five seconds your mission will not expire so some of the things on the group have custom notification have mentioned or oh, notify me so each time someone mentioned notify the person add members so you can see the group info so member invite as far as the member having invited the invitation he can be added to the group so that what i call security now let us move to the next step so you can see you are free to add the camera now the next thing we are going to do is that i want to move into the settings so you can see settings now on the settings this is where the call of signal actually applies so if you come on the sms this neighbor can see touch me signal so you can make signal to become your default message compared to your mobile so compared to the message that came that came on your mobile so that doesn't have this feature another thing that signal has we have notification we, have, we, won't, we, won't, we won't talk on that and then last the thing that actually matters is the privacy so let us walk through this incredible work of privacy so the first thing that you notify on signal is that we have a screen lock which is actually so if you actually see what i'm using is screen mirroring a screen mirroring app on windows so you can see i'm using a power mirror so you see so this is the first option of security so i say lock signal access with android screen or fingerprint so what that was actually has this so we're going to leave it at this level so what i'm so you can see another thing that I actually concern is screen security so screen security as, as, as i said before i'm using a screen mirroring app so if i activate this you won't be able to see what i'm doing here on my device just to show you how secure it is so let us activate if i try to go back on the scene so see what will happen so you can see it is black whereas i can see you can see it is black but i can't see what is happening here though so that is what i call security so let, let me disable it back 
so and if you try to have a screenshot so for example let me try to have a screenshot of my device so see what happens if i want to take a screenshot i click on screenshot so you will see a message can couldn't capture screenshot you know, this is what i call security but that doesn't have this feature too so on whether you can take a screenshot at any level even if this is a code a bank card information was that you can take a screenshot at any level so let us let me disable it back i just wanted to show you how secure it is so if i disable it back close signal and open it back you will see that i am back on signal so that is what I call security. So moving back on the privacy, you can see always relay calls. So relay all calls through the signal server. So each time someone call you, actually passes through the signal. So enable will reduce call quality. So I advise you to leave it at it's like that. So if read receive are disabled, you won't be able to see receive from others. So that is it typing indicators when somebody is typing you actually have the ability to see that the person is typing so some of these features that are listed here you on whatsapp you you won't you can only have access to them if you're using gp whatsapp which is very bad and we have generate links preview so retrieve link viewers are really from website for, for messages you send so that's another very cool feature now we have sealed sender so display indicator so show a status icon when you select message details on message that were delivered using seal sender so when this it, when this is enabled you can by the name actually say what it says so when somebody activates this you are able you are able to see that your contact has enabled the seal sender which makes so especially with that only you and the person can see so if the person doesn't open the message nobody else can be able to open it so allow from anyone so allow seal sender for incoming messages from non-contact and people with whom you have not shared your profile with so this is another so you can actually click on the learn more to actually learn all uh, for what it means so change your pin so as you can see as i set one you create an account the pin is set automatically so i already set my pin so pin reminder so you can see registration log add extra security by requiring your signal pin to register your phone number with signal again so for example if somebody actually uses your number and tries to research a new number it is going to block the phone so whatsapp doesn't actually have this this last registration lock so you can see this app it is 110 percent way better than WhatsApp. so on the appearance it actually has the dark team already enabled and if you can remember before whatsapp actually had this dark team you needed to have an android version that is actually high or a particular type of phone but signal you can have the dark version on any phone of your choice from android 5 and above and now for another thing i'm going to check is at the chat and media so when using mobile you can include download when you you see so this is all about the downloading so message freeze so message from size that is it use system emoji disable system built emoji so you can disable the system built emoji so pressing the enter key will send messages so you can enable this when you press enter key so chat and backup you can see backups are encrypted with a base fair and stored on your device so that is what i call security so you can see backup actually encrypted locally on your device so i'm going to prepare a video on how to backup and restore signal messages so if you are instructed that you can comment on the comment section and now let us move to storage you can see you have a graphical view of the storage which is actually cool so you can review storage from here and see everything that we are using on signal Another thing that I would advise you to go in for the link devices are devices that are actually using with your signal. And that is all on the advanced signal messages and call advanced pin settings. That is it. I have a delete account button. So you can see signal is very very good. And as I told you, you guys should actually consider using this instead of WhatsApp because this update of WhatsApp is not actually good so i would advise you going for senior if you have any question at any level hit the not hit it on the comment section we're going to discuss over it so i want i am fabrice and i hope you guys actually love the video see you in my next video tutorial if you have any question just leave it in the comment section we're going to look at it